If they're nervous about being on camera, they don't come outside of a building because you're on CCTV yeah. everywhere. You know, and you can't. Anyway, really you have the right, it's public property in a way, so until you don't film people in their houses without their permission. Yeah, well, you can't really complain about all the security cameras that we're on. Yeah. No, you can't. You know, you get on a bus, you're on a camera. You walk in the shop, you're on a camera. You walk in anywhere, you're on a camera. <laughs> you know, the ones I found most invasive at the moment are the ones on buses and trains yeah yeah especially no, if you sit the there that, and you're watching yourself you get the free awful. television yeah, set and you never look good in there no you look shit and you can like oh why do i see myself like what the fuck like a mirror <laughs> no but keep doing it then I'll let you spy on people <laughs> i'm not spying on people i'm just recording life Someone's got to make a record of it. That's my job as a filmmaker. I go around making small recordings of moments of life. And it's quite funny the way things work. I've got a series of films I've been putting together for the past three years, which are just three minute observations on life, which if you actually stand somewhere for three minutes, yep. life can get fairly I ridiculous. Know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do every day at three o'clock, I do a picture, so ah. whatever I see, so it's like three minutes, three o'clock, you know, yeah, I was always taking pictures of the same bus stops as well, like in how it changes. And yeah, this. three minutes, yeah. a lot can happen in three oh, yeah. minutes. A whole fucking film can happen. In fact, some, <laughs> some of my films started off like that and ended up as like half hour things, yeah. just because I stopped for three minutes and the three minutes got that outrageous, it became impossible for me to leave. Okay. See you.
Are you watching this film? Yes. I think it's changing right now. The funding model has been doing it for a while. The funding models and, and, and how the content and the work were there, and the, 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 the sending of the industry like 10 years ago, it's just not the same. Like, we, like back then, we were getting. That's what we'd be looking for again, something that was like ripped on the conditions of people like Al Jazeera. Because in the last couple of years, we can make a living and we can make the films that we want to make. Have you seen any? Moving? Yes, I was there for the masterclass. I was there for the masterclass. It was very good. And the films also? I haven't seen any of the other films that I just saw her films. There's stuff, there's another one just started in a minute. Go mm. in, there's a timetable just over there. See where the sign is? It mm. says they can't, there's a book of timetables, it says what time everything's showing. Thank you. I'm hurting my friend. They might be downstairs. Mm. There's a lot of people downstairs.
they're exploiting the workforce even more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We just we just learned from those for seven for seven of the people of the garment country oh, yeah. over the Syrian refugees. Turkey had a complete it was a complete takeover of the of the and then of course they left their Syrian refugees and they got back they're not gonna they can accept whatever hours they they're told to work whatever pay when they don't get they don't get their overtime pay they'll just shut up they won't say anything about it so many all those problems that that have always been there in the industry you know workers who work the price they try to overcome them the problems are there again you know and so they're going to come all over and they're going to work right out and then build the workers' strength and then get them to fight back next and then talk to the world of fire and what's the more of it? I think Cambodia, like we were going there saying, like, oh, you've got a, oh, a Bangladeshi chief in Cambodia, so shut up. Yeah, they're all fine. So, so, yeah, like the, the brands, so your yeah, H&M, so H&M is very prominent in Cambodia. What they, what they say is the union from the world.